All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about automated valuation models and public records and how they work together. Well, an automated valuation model relies on the information 90% of the time from public records. Same thing I'm keep saying over and over, they use the square footage from public records. If you pull up an address, pull up five different automated valuation models and you'll find they have one thing in common, the same square footage number. And where do they get that number? From tax records. Guys, this information, automated valuation models, are a dangerous tool. You know, it's great for fun and if you're checking out your neighbors or something, but to learn the value of your single largest lifetime investment, an AVM is not the answer. You know, these tools rely on public records which are inaccurate and until that changes, automated valuation models are going to be dangerous. They're coming more and more. Agents are using them. The government wants to use them. Everybody wants to use them. And if you follow the money, you'll find out the reason. Guys, this stuff is really simple. The reason that AVMs are growing in popularity is because everybody wants a piece of the appraisal pie. We've been going through appraisal reform for years now and the push for automated valuation models is nothing but a push for profits. You know, everybody has discovered that they can make a little bit of money off of the appraisal. You know, appraisers are always the bad guys. We slow the process down, even though they don't order it, you know, when they get it. They wait three weeks and then they want to get it back, you know, in two days for a, a half price fee, but and that's another story. Anyway, you know, these things are not the answer. They're dangerous, and we're going to talk about all that in this lesson, so let's get started.